Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come out here and talk about this really disturbing story and it's coming from Chattanooga, Tennessee. So what's going on is just, you know, a few days before Thanksgiving break, um, a bus carrying 35 children crashed into a tree in Chattanooga on Monday and it killed six elementary school children and it hospitalized nearly two dozen kids. Um, I believe there was about 21 kids total on board and the police have now arrested the 24 year old driver. His name is Jonathan Walker and they're charging him with six counts of vehicular homicide, um, reckless endangerment and reckless driving. So this entire situation is just really disturbing. They're saying that the crews worked for hours to free the children from the bus. Kids came off the bus bloodied. They were placed on stretchers. The ones who were okay, who were just shooken up, they were able to go home with their parents. But a lot of kids are either severely hurt and then like I said before, six children died. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news report. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Flipping onto its side, careening into a tree so fast, its frame crumbling on impact. This is the image of a horrific school bus crash in Chattanooga, Tennessee, killing at least six students and injuring 23. He wasn't paying attention, he was going real fast. The bus driver, 24-year-old Jonathan Walker, arrested late Monday and charged with five counts of vehicular homicide, reckless endangerment, and reckless driving. Certainly speed is being investigated very, very strongly as a factor in this crash. A witness living near the crash said she heard a big boom just before 3.30 p.m. and that the impact was so strong it knocked her power out. This has been a great tragedy for us. We have suffered a great loss. Emergency officials raced to the scene. So did frantic parents. The fire department working for hours to remove the 35 elementary school students on board trapped inside. But for some, it was too late. Five children died on the bus and another died at the hospital. Meanwhile, hundreds of residents from the community lining up to donate blood at a local blood bank to help the injured. Their parents hoping they can take their child home soon. We are working diligently to ensure that all of the other children who have received care at the hospitals or may have been transported to other locations are reunited successfully with their families. All right, so you guys just saw the news report. You know, what's even more disturbing about this story is that more information is coming out. They're saying that this young man has several issues. Um, one of the mothers, her name is Jasmine Mateen, and she was a mother of three who lost one of her daughters in the accident. And she said that she knew that this man had a drinking problem in the past. She has sent letters and she complained to school officials. Other parents have been saying the same thing, that um, the kids were coming back and telling their parents that their bus driver is crazy he's always speeding and they said that one day he even cussed out some of the kids on the bus and he told them shut the fuck up I have a hangover another time he forced all the kids to ride on the bus it was like really really hot outside and he made all the kids roll up the windows and he refused to turn on the AC and the kids were really really hot and uncomfortable and then they're also saying that right before the crash before the bus flipped over they're saying that he was speeding around the curb and he sat there and he asked all the kids on the bus are y'all ready to die that down at the hospital at the time and so many families just in the same boat that I waiting was waiting to hear if their children were dead or alive right uh, what was that room like of parents were you comforting each other uh, yes we were um, some people were easier to calm than others have you seen the bus driver mr. Walker drive your children have you have you seen how he drives do you know him at all um, I don't know him I don't know him personally honestly he, he, I've seen, there has been times where I've seen him going a little faster than he probably should be going. And that concerned you as a parent. Did you ever have worries putting your children on that school bus? Yes, ma'am. That's the reason why, that's the reason why I tried to be there in the mornings when he's, when he's pulling up so I can, so I can, so I can try to get a rhythm for what he was doing. And also in the evenings because some days, some days he would, he would come up the street and drop him off. Some days he would go down the street and drop him off. And I, and I'm not a bus driver, so I, I'm not sure how they're, what that protocol is, but I kind of figured that that wasn't, that wasn't something he was supposed uh, to be they doing. They ride the school bus every morning, every afternoon. Every day they come home, they complaining about the school bus. Since August, the first day of school. I've been calling, complaining about this bus driver since August. I done called the Board of Education. I done called the school. I done called Durham. Durham. I done wrote a letter to the school. I done wrote a letter to the bus driver. The principal read the letter to the bus driver. 
two weeks ago when I wrote the letter. He re she read it to the bus driver out loud in front of all the kids. And after she got done with the letter, he said, so, I'll do it again. It was about him slamming on brakes on purpose, making all the kids hit their heads. What did the, your kids He drinks every day on the bus. Oh, God. Maybe your kids telling you. Yes. He's always cussing at them. He's always speeding. Like I just told the Board of Education when they just called. I've been calling out since August. We doing, we on our job, we, we doing what we supposed I said, now y'all doing what y'all supposed to been doing. Now that it's too late. Now that it's six kids there. Yeah, doing what y'all supposed to be doing, but my baby laying in a cold freezer. Her mouth was open like this, like she was screaming. <laughs> he was speeding, coming around the curb. He was, he was drinking. He asked them, was they ready to die? Jerked the steering wheel. The bus flipped over twice, ran through a light pole, smacked two trees, and went through that. Well, Zakaria has a concussion. She has injuries to the neck. She got a fracture to the spine. Zasmin, she got a concussion, injuries to the neck, bruises on her legs and they haven't really gave me any updates on her legs but my baby can't walk you know when i heard that you know my heart was just broken because this is a parent's worst nightmare you know you pray that every time your kids leave the house they leave safe and they come back safe and we don't know the bus drivers like we know the teachers we just pray that once our kids are on the bus you know the bus driver gets them to school safely and brings them home safely but this is really really disturbing even now it's being reported they're saying that the bus company who hired him they're saying that they um knew that he was a reckless driver and that supposedly they were changing some of his records around just to give him a job because supposedly there's not enough bus drivers in that area and at this point in time they're just looking to hire anybody to drive the kids and I think it's really really sad that it's like that just like you have to be responsible when you get behind the wheel of a vehicle of your own personal car it should be no different when you're driving a bus and you have people who depend on you especially small children you know, so this is just really disturbing. When I seen that crash, it just, you know, made my heart break, you know, because these were innocent children who were getting ready to go home, to go see their parents. You know, it's right before Thanksgiving. I, you know, my heart just goes out to these families because I couldn't even imagine, you know, Thanksgiving is in two more days and you have to be sitting here trying to figure out ways to bury six children. All uh, because a bus driver decided to get drunk and thought it was funny to speed and hit curves. And then he had the audacity to ask the children, were they ready to die? You know, I think it's really unfortunate these kids died, but yet and still this shitty ass driver, he still has his life. Even his mugshot pisses me off. His eyes are bloodshot red. You can tell he's drunk in the picture still. You know, the whole situation is just insane. They need to lock his ass up and throw away the fucking key. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing story coming from Chattanooga, Tennessee. How do you feel about this entire situation? What do you feel should be done? And then also, you know, my personal opinion, I feel like the company who hired him, they also should be held accountable if they knew that this man had, you know, a bad driving record and people had been complaining on him, but yet and still he was still allowed to keep his job. They definitely should be held liable, but this entire situation is just heart-wrenching. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces hey you guys it's your girl t make sure to subscribe like and share my videos you can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise also don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos talk to y'all later deuces